You don't even know what you're talking about. You still haven't even told me what it is, but run with it. You I have told you what it is. No, you haven't. I said to Travis, I said, Good. no, I said to you, hey, okay. tell Travis right. what just happened. You, oh, you told less. me to do it. You yeah. told me to. You said, go do that. I said, no, t tell him what just happened. And I lied. And that you punched me in the you're fucking right. thing and you, you in the face. Out. And you said, no, fuck it. No, I didn't. What the fuck are you talking about? You are such a baby. Grow the fuck up, Johnny. Depp defends his strategy of walking away to de-escalate. I left last night, honestly, I swear to you, because I just couldn't take the idea of more physicality, more physical abuse on each other. Because had we continued it, it would have gotten fucking bad. And baby, I told you this once. I'm scared to death we are a fucking crime scene right now. Bird complains that Depp is slow to reconcile after fights. Just because I've thrown pots and pans does not mean you cannot come and knock on my door and vases, Depp adds. Just because there are vases does not mean that you come and knock on the door, she reiterates. Really, I should just let you throw? Depp questions, adding once the spat has escalated. The only time I ever threw anything at you was when you fucking threw the cans at me in Australia. Why are you trying to justify who throws things based on whether or not you come knocking on the door? I don't get why one informs the other, questions heard. Depp yells, because that is a fucking irrational and violent fucking maneuver. So a man would want to get out of that area so that he doesn't get so fucking angry that he actually does pop the fucking wife. Listen to the edited audio clips below. Since the recorded release, a spokesperson for Amber Heard accused Johnny Depp of vindictively leaking the tape. In a statement, the spokesperson said, anyone familiar with the dynamics of domestic abuse would immediately recognize what is really going on here. Throughout the extended tape recording that Johnny Depp vindictively turned over to the press, Miss Heard repeatedly attempts to placate Mr. Depp, ignore his accusations, and force him to acknowledge what was really happening in their relationship. This isn't the first leaked clip from Heard and Depp's toxic marriage. In 2016, Heard secretly recorded an enraged Depp 
stomping around the kitchen and slamming cabinet doors. When he noticed her phone, he tried to slap it off the table. Following that recording, Heard filed a restraining order against Depp, only to retract it after their $7 million divorce settlement. In 2018, Heard published an op-ed in the Washington Post accusing a former partner of physical abuse, though not mentioning Depp by name, while making no mention of any violence on her part. The next year, Depp served Heard with a $50 million defamation lawsuit, claiming that her false accusations had cost him the role of Jack Sparrow in Pirates of the Caribbean, among other lucrative film roles. He may never twirl his fingers as Jack Sparrow again, but the events have hardly ended his career. Johnny Depp is playing Grindelwald in J.K. Rowling's latest franchise, Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, a decision Rowling defended while implying that fans didn't have the full story. Last year, Amber Heard had roles in Aquaman and Her Smell, and she was recently cast in the upcoming Stephen King series, The Stand. According to Heard, Depp routinely became explosively angry and physically violent throughout their relationship, particularly when substances were involved. Her filings framed the iPhone incident as a repeat event, alleging that Depp subjected her to excessive emotional, verbal, and physical abuse, as well as angry, hostile, humiliating, and threatening assaults. Heard said she had photos and video to support her statements, and breaking from its apparent support of Depp, TMZ eventually leaked footage from Heard's cell phone showing the Pirates of the Caribbean star raging at his wife. Text messages came out, too, in which Depp's assistant, Stephen Duders, apologizes on the actor's behalf for having kicked Heard the night before. He's done this many times before, she wrote back. Tokyo, the island, London, remember that? And I always stay. Always believe he's going to get better. And then every three or so months, I'm in the exact same position. Heard also declined spousal support from Depp, emphasizing that, contrary to what his lawyer suggested in the media, the case wasn't about money for her. And while certain tabloid reports, TMZs for example, seemed to suggest Heard had faked her facial injuries, her friend, photographer, and writer, I.O. Tillett Wright, came out with an emphatic defense. Bullshit, he wrote in a lengthy Twitter thread. I've had enough. I saw the bruises, many times, and the fat lip, and the cut head. Further, Tillett Wright said he'd experienced and witnessed Depp's rage firsthand, asking, how much evidence does a woman need to present? She has photos, texts, witnesses, and filed a restraining order. On June 1, the jury returned its verdict. Heard had defamed Depp in her op-ed at three separate points, they said. The jury awarded $10 million in compensatory damages to Depp and $5 million in punitive damages for a total of $15 million. The punitive damages were reduced to $350,000 per Virginia's legal limit. As for Heard's defamation claim, the jury deemed just one line in Depp's attorney Adam Waldman's 2020 op-ed in the Daily Mail defamatory. Quite simply, this was an ambush, a hoax, Waldman wrote. They set Mr. Depp up by calling the cops, but the first attempt did not do the trick. The officers came to the penthouses, thoroughly searched and interviewed, and left after seeing no damage to her face or property. So Amber and her friends spilled a little wine and roughed the place up, got their story straight under the direction of a lawyer and a publicist, and then placed a second call to 911. Jurors found that Waldman, acting as an agent for Mr. Depp, made a false statement that met the bar for defamation with malice. Jurors awarded Heard $2 million in compensatory damages, but no punitive damages. Heard watched the verdict read live in court. Depp, whose claim rested on an inability to find work after Heard's op-ed was published, had what his team called previously scheduled work commitments and did not show up. He watched the verdict from the UK, where he had been playing concerts with Jeff Beck for the previous three nights. And that's all for today. Did we miss out on anything? Do you have any insights worth adding to our video? Did you enjoy watching the video? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section below. Well, that brings us to the end of this video. We hope you have enjoyed watching the video. Please like the video if you have not already and make sure to hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to press the bell icon to never miss another update from our channel. With that being said, let's meet in another one of these videos. Until then, see ya!